Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, also the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, somebody asked me in the comments if I could make a beginner's tutorial for makeup. And honestly, I just realized like I've made multiple makeup tutorials on this channel, but I never really walk you guys through it or um, you know, explain things to people who might be beginners. I just kind of assume people know what they're doing and like, hello, everybody has to start from somewhere. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get a full face glam step by step um, for beginners. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching and um, <laughs> let's just get started. Okay, I first like to start out with moisturizing my face. I personally like to use Curology. It's just an acne treatment lotion. Um, I've talked about Curology a few times on my channel. If you want to go look that up, um, I can get more into depth about it. But yeah, so I just use my Curology as my moisturizer. I do have oily skin, but you always want to moisturize regardless of your skin type. It's still very important before you pack on foundation onto your skin. So that's it for moisturizer. Now let's move on to the eyebrows. Okay, so I use the same wax that I used to do my edges, like my hair. Um, I use it in my eyebrows to make them just stay in place. I just take a spoolie and I dip it in the wax and I brush my brows to where they're supposed to be. Okay, so when I feel like my brows are brushed out to where they need to be, if they need any plucking, then I'll do that at this point. If not, then we're good. And then we just like lightly fill them in from here. I like to take the Sultry palette and take a whole entire pan of sparkly shimmer just fell onto my shorts. Anyways. So I like to take the other side of the spoolie, dip it in this light brown color right here. Just like make very thin lines that kind of mock the lines of your eyebrow hairs. Just where they're a little bit sparse, so not too much. So I take um, a concealer from a concealer palette and I take this flat brush, looks like this, and I just dip it into the concealer. And then we're just gonna clean up the underneath just in case we got any eyeshadow or anything on like the bottom and just to make it look really neat and precise. I just kind of blend the concealer downwards with my finger and it gives it a very neat and precise look and don't worry I know it still looks a little thick we're just gonna go over the top and like line that And it leaves you with a very clean, very natural looking brow. Just blend the concealer out a little more and there you go. Okay, now that you have your brows done, it's time to move on to primer. So I always prime my eyelids with the Shadow Insurance from Too Faced. I used to think it wasn't important to prime your eyelids before eyeshadow and I didn't realize the huge difference that you see with pigmentation when you use a primer versus no primer. So this, I've had this for so long, like ridiculously long because it only takes a little drop. That's it. And then I just rub it in. So that is your primer. 
and then I go in with a base. Um, for the eyeshadow base, I just like to go in with white and then I use a neutral color over the white and I do it just so that all of the colors that I choose to use that day have a really good base to start off of. Um, and I just feel like it just works better than going straight onto my eyelid with the color I'm using. I always use the Riviera palette because it has this really prominent white in it that I like to use. I'm running out of it, so I'm gonna have to get a good white shadow soon. But yeah, I just take like a fluffy blending brush and I just put that all over my lid. After that, I've been taking the color Cabana lately <clears throat> and using that as my neutral color in the crease. <sighs> just lightly apply that in the crease and blend it out. Just blend it upwards a little bit in circular motions. Not all the way up to your brow bone, but just like lightly blend it out. Now I'm gonna take the Soft Glam Palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Rustic and I'm just gonna lightly put that in the crease. And I'm gonna go over it with the color Sienna. Okay, so now that it's all blended out, we're gonna go in with the concealer palette again and we're gonna cut the crease. I'm just using this second color right here. And then you're just gonna cut exactly where your crease starts, where the line is. <clears throat> and I usually cut a little bit above my crease. And just fill it in. And we're doing a half cut crease, not a full cut crease. Today we're doing glitter, so I'm gonna take the NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna squeeze that onto the back of my hand. A little bit goes a long way, even that's too much, honestly. So I'm gonna take that flat brush that I used to cut my crease and I'm gonna go ahead and um, go over my cut crease with the glitter glue. And then I'm taking this white glitter by NYX and a fluffy brush and I'm just dipping it into the glitter. I'm gonna go back in with Sienna and just finish the other half of the cut and darken it up. Then I'll put a little bit of rustic, that darker color, and put that right here. Now eyeliner. So I've been using the same eyeliner since high school, middle school. Elf liquid eyeliner used to be a dollar. Now it's three dollars. Elf coming up. Sponsor me. <laughs> so I, when I do liquid eyeliner, I like to do a wing. I start from the inner corner of my eye and I try to follow it with the thinnest line all the way to the edge and then I wing it out and trace. You'll see. Swatch.
So once you have eyeliner on, you're just gonna go ahead and take your mascara. I like to use the Colossal Volume ones by, by Maybelline. I have a little old mascara, but I like the, the wand. Sometimes I use that one, sometimes I use my Better Than Sex mascara. This one's actually Better Than Sex and Diamonds, but same shit. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Lily Lash in the Style Miami, and yes, it still has eyeshadow all over it from the last time I wore it, sorry. So some people think it's easier to put lashes on with tweezers. I personally have never thought that was easy, so I'm sorry if you're one of those people who thinks this is gonna be too difficult with your fingers. Maybe try the tweezers, but I don't do tweezers, so. We will not be doing that today. I'm just gonna put the lash glue onto the band. And then I'm gonna let it get tacky for 30 seconds. Try to get it as close as possible to my actual lash line. Okay, so now that we have eyelashes on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to face makeup. So before I do any face makeup, I first start with a primer, and this is very, very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. I personally have oily skin. I also have huge pores, and I'm not really a fan, and I have acne scars, and so for me, I like to use the Benefit Professional Primer. It's my ride or die. Um, and it literally just applies a, like a very smooth, one textured canvas and your face makeup just goes on looking flawless. Now, I have really oily skin so my foundation tends to like smear, like move and crease. So I like to use a, the Laura Mercier setting powder as a base before I do my liquid foundation which I know is very backwards from anything you've ever been told in makeup ever, but like there's no rules to makeup and this works and trust me, it doesn't clog your face like you think it's going to, you will be okay. Okay, but like low-key, why do I look like I have blonde hair now? Bitch, hold on, wait. Ah, so my permanent highlights be like, ooh. Okay, but anyways, let me get back to work. There are two foundations from that are both Tarte Shape Tape, just two different colors. I mix them together all in the Beauty Blender. And then I just start dabbing. Okay, so now I'm taking these two, whoop, these two Tarte Shape Tape mini, conf <clears throat> these two Tarte Shape Tape mini foundations for my liquid contour and highlight. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a flat, fluffy flat brush, kind of, I don't know, and dab this here, and here. And here. Use it to also sharpen out my eyeliner. Then I just dab it and blend from top to I mean from bottom to top. I 
again so you're just blending it all out so then I take the Benefit Hula Bronzer in um, Caramel and I just use the bronzer to contour my face. And I take a contour brush, it's angled and fluffy, and I just... And where did my blush go? And my Patrick Star blush. Just dab that in there. And then on the cheekbones. Then I take the beauty blender that I was using to do my foundation and I just dry it off because it's still damp from when we wet it earlier. And I'm gonna take the setting powder, the Laura Mercier setting powder that we used in the beginning and mix it with this Revolution banana powder. And um, I'm gonna use that for the powder highlight. So we're here, I just dip that in there on the angled side. I'm gonna put that under the contour to really like define the contour. And we're just gonna let it bake. It's pretty much everything down here, but I'll go back and bake the chin part. Now I'm going to go back in with the Hula Bronzer and this angled brush for your nose contour that I got in the James Charles brush set. The closer together the lines are, the smaller your nose will look. the baking powder that we had under the eyes I personally don't care to wipe it off I just think it sets it better to dab it in so for highlight I'm gonna take the same little fluffy brush I used for the blush and I'm gonna use this um, this limited edition Pirates of the Caribbean highlighter palette. Um, and I'm gonna put it in Star Reader and Bold Spirit. So the bottom two. And just. the nose. I'm going to take a small little tiny brush, oh, button nose highlight, and then the bridge of the nose. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Line the waterline, the bottom waterline. Just makes your eyes appear bigger. Little brush we just used for the nose highlight and we're gonna dip that into this little tan color that matches our eyeshadow and do right underneath the waterline where we just put eyeliner and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this NYX liquid lipstick
We're gonna take this Kylie liquid lipstick in Dirty Peach and we're just gonna put that right in the middle. So now we have a pretty ombre effect. And yeah, that's about it for the makeup. Oh, bottom mascara. Just go ahead and throw some mascara on your bottom lashes and you are good to go, honey. 